Okay, once you get logged in, you're gonna come to a screen that looks like this. The first thing you want to do, is you want to go over to the left and click on classes. You'll see that people have started to add classes in. To add a new class, you're gonna go down to the bottom and press add new class. You're gonna scroll down until you see the option for location. You're either gonna select the elementary or the middle school. And right below is the option to put your name in. If you start typing your name, you'll see that you appear. Below that is the button to start entering your, your students in. When you start typing their names, their names will appear. After you've entered your first student, press save class. When you get to this screen, for some reason you're not able to edit your class name right away. So you want to go over to the side, um, under course number, click edit. You don't even need to type in anything and then hit save. This seems to be like a little bit of a glitch that Apple's trying to work out, but once you do that, you should be able to hit edit button here and type in the name of your class. Once you hit save, that name will save. It shows honors biology with Molly Mosley and I only have one student in there now. Now all I need to do is click the edit button and add the rest of my students into my class. Once you're done adding students, you want to press save and your class should be active. Once you get all your classes created, all you need to do is you need to email Chris and ask him to please sync your classes so that your classes show up on your iPad app.